Hello everyone, my name is Alan Jay and welcome to Lincoln Central. And here we are with our very first trig tutorial. Pretty soon there'll be a whole bunch of these coming on stream. So, just to give you a flavour of what is to come, here are the titles I'll be covering. 1. Making and naming angles. 2. Naming triangles, their sides and their angles. 3. Angles around a point. 4. Triangle internal and external angles. 5. Triangle types. 6. Pythagoras' theorem. 7. The sine ratio. 8. The cosine ratio. 9. The tangent ratio. 10. The sine rule. 11. The cosine rule. 12. The area of a triangle. That's 12 titles in all, but that doesn't mean 12 videos. When you throw in lots of worked examples, I expect the finished playlist will be easily double that, perhaps treble. Anyway, I know these titles sound quite intimidating. Who is this guy Pythagoras, you may ask? Sounds a bit Greek to me, oh well. So take a deep breath and don't stress, it's okay. Today we'll be taking baby steps. We don't want to take things too fast. Falling in at the deep end with this stuff will really scramble your brain and spoil your day. So here we go. You can put your calculator away, no number crunching. All we're going to do is to break the ice by looking at some pretty diagrams and talking about the names for angles. Now, I don't mean nicknames like Sam, Tim and Harry. That would be silly. Now, as you, will, as you will find out, you can have angles called doe, cod, or fog. Weird or what? And so to the trig, or should I say trigonometry. Let's get that word out of the way first, shall we? Like an albatross around my neck. Anyone know where that came from? Anyway, here it is in all its glory. Believe it or not, the more you say this word, the easier it gets. It just flows off your tongue. So let's try to understand this word with some hopefully familiar shapes. Everyone knows that a pentagon has five sides, a hexagon has six sides, a heptagon seven and an octagon eight, right? Well, the Greek name for a triangle, a shape with three sides, is a trigon. You guessed it, the Greek for a side is a gon. Remember you heard that little nugget of information right here on Lincoln Central. Trigonometry does what it says on the tin. Break the word up and you will see what I mean. Trigonometry. Obviously, the measurement of trigons is triangles. So, word for the day is trigon. Sounds a bit like an alien race, don't you think? Oh my god, we're all going to die. The trigons are coming. Well enough of this silliness. Let's get with the program. Before we start, I just want to say a quick something about GeoGebra. GeoGebra is the display software I'll be using in this tutorial and throughout the series. It's great to play around with and especially good for anything to do with geometry and by the way, also algebra. I think the clue is in the name. Geo from geometry, Jebra from algebra. So, to whet your appetite, here's some screenshots of the website geogebra.org. As it says, free mathematics software for learning and teaching, an interactive geometry, algebra and spreadsheet, from elementary school to university level, thousands of classroom materials, and it has a user forum. What more could you need? Click the classroom materials link and it takes you to GeoGebra Tube. As you can see, there's information overload here. More than you can shake a stick at, from escherized tessellations to swirling heptagrins. Just take it easy with the stuff. Remember, baby steps. Don't let the nerds who live on this planet get to you. You're as good as they are. They just had longer to do it. Anyway. Tell me what you think. Remember, you can download GeoGebra for free at geogebra.org. And now, at last, you may say, to the tutorial proper. Just to remind you, this is Basic Trig, Tutorial 1, Making and Naming Angles. 
I thought I'd start with showing you how to make a simple angle from first principles in GeoGebra. In later trick tutorials, I won't be spending too much time on the why and wherefore of GeoGebra construction, more on the actual mathematics. Though I hope this whets your appetite for a future tutorial series by me on GeoGebra, coming soon. So here we are with our blank GeoGebra screen with the tools menu along the top. It's worth taking a closer look at these tools. You'll be meeting most of them on, in this course. So looking from left to right, note the first one, Move, is highlighted with a blue square. Now you don't always have to click on these icons to find out what they do. Watch as I move the mouse over them. A text box comes out giving their description. A useful tip, I think. Then we have New Point, Line Through Two Points, Perpendicular Line, Polygon, Circle with Center Through Point, Ellipse, Angle, Reflect Object in Line, Insert Text, Slider, and Move Graphics View. I know, it's all new, and there's far too much here to take in all at once. And it will get worse before it gets better. But trust me, if you stay the course, you will prevail. So we are going to start simple and only only use five of these tools. So let's go. Now, individual angles are described exactly in geometry in terms of capital letters. By contrast, the magnitude of angles, that is how big they are in degrees, is signified by lowercase letters or even by Greek letters. To make an angle in GeoGebra, all we have to do is make three points. Clicking on the second icon along called New Point, we click around the area to make three individual points. They come up pre-named as A, B and C. We want to make an angle with a vertex that's the corner, as O. So the first thing to do is to change the C to an O. To do this, we run the mouse over the letter C and right click. From the drop down menu, choose Rename. A dialog box opens. In the text input, delete the C and write capital O. Then click OK. Now we have three points, A, O and B. So to make our angle, we go to the Tools menu along the top and click on the third icon along, segment between two points. That's a picture of two points with a line joining them. Go to point A, click on it once, move the mouse to point O and click again. You'll see the black line now joins both points. Cool or what? Now click once on point B, move the mouse to point O as before and click once again. Points B and O are now joined. Houston, we now have an angle, but not so fast. We have to give it a name first, so let's do it. Go to the tool menu again, click on the text icon, that's the one with the letters A, B, C on it. Click inside the angle diagram, a text dialog box is displayed. First choose symbols, then the second choice down, times divide minus. Select the symbol for angle, like in italic capital L. Now type A or B in the edit box, press OK. While we're at it, let's add the names of the arms, the sides, OA and OB. Choose the text icon ABC again, click to one side of OA, enter side OA, press OK. Choose the text icon ABC again, click to one side of OB, enter the side Enter side OB, press OK, and don't forget the vertex at O. Choose the text icon ABC once more, click below and to the left of the O, enter vertex at O, press OK. Remember if the text isn't exactly where you want it, just choose the move tool, that's an arrow icon on the far left, and reposition it like so. All that remains now is to put the value of the angle in. No protractors here, GeoGebra calculates this for you. Go to the Tools menu, and this time select the Angle icon, that's fourth from the right. Go down to point B, 
click on it once, move the mouse to point O, click on it once, then go to point A and click on it once. Voila! As you can see, you now have a workable angle of any size. But the actual size is difficult to see. So let's make it bigger. Position the mouse over the green angle. Go right click, Object Properties, choose Style, go down to Size and ratchet it up to 85 or so, then close. Now if you do want to make this angle yourself, you may want to play around with it a little. To center things, click the arrowed cross, move graphics view, like so. To alter the lengths of the angle arms and the angle size, use the big arrow, the move tool. Neat or what? So between now and next time, you might want to play with our little angle construction. By the power of the internet, you can do this. Go to the website at lincolncentral.net. Click the menu item, GeoGebra, and there you will find it, ready to go. But if you want it for keeps, first download GeoGebra from the link, then download the GeoGebra angle file, run the file from your desktop offline, and play any time. There are lots of things you can do. Renaming the points, altering the colours of the lines, angles and points, altering the thickness of the lines, trying different fonts and getting and generally getting the feel of things. Well, hopefully this tutorial has whetted your appetite for things to come. Anyway, thank you all for watching. The next tutorial is on making and naming triangles. All good stuff. Hope to see you there. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss the next vid. See you soon.